So the first thing to do, identify all deposit sites. And they can be found by going to any oil data vendor. Once you've identified a oil site, travel to the said location. Okay, by pressing um, ship power and generator button, that'll switch all your power systems on and then if you want, that's just the extra cameras. You don't need that though. And you can switch on your def cage and you can switch on your cameras. But yeah, apart from that, that is it. Ready to go. Throttle is there. Turning is um, A and D. And this is your anchor controls, which we'll go into later. Feeling a little bit unstable. Then we've got the stabilizer. This is for the weight stabilizer. That's pretty much all you'll need. But if it's really rough, then you can activate the air. Uh, the propeller stabilizer as well. This is your depth gauge and this is your drone camera. I bet I can get you on the boat. Oh. Like this, watch, watch. Here it is. There you go. <laughs> nice. I tend to go to 50 meters or less. Approach the waypoint. Okay, you've reached your waypoint. Happy days, All right? Drop the anchor. Make sure you switch this on and lower until you see the indicator light. The anchor's only hit, only just hit the ground. Okay, anchor's down, head over to the control room. This is the drone deployment. I'm not going to show you how to use all of this, you can learn it, but you just hit that button there, that drops the drone down into the water. You can winch it back up or you can winch it down. Uh, best thing to do is to just winch it all the way down, I think, so it's got a little slack. But you can learn how to use that. Alright, let's get this bit ready. So, screen on, screen on, screen on, screen on. First thing we need to do, raise the drill. Drill raise. Second thing we need to do, raise the feeder. Feeder raised. X fin, tighten the ropes. Ropes tighten, turn on the toggle button. That's your uh, wellhead camera. Open the wellhead door. Here we go. Now we've got our depth 294 meters to the bottom. Let's start piping. This button. Press number one. Press S. Keep bringing it down until it doesn't move anymore. Press the well clamp. Press number one and disable the loader clamp. Press number two. That brings the drill down. Number two again. Number one to bring it forward and hit this button here. Automatic connecting. And number two, what you're looking for now is the wellhead to push out from the bottom. Once you've confirmed the wellhead pushing out, hit the clamp button. What that does is that pushes the pipe through the wellhead and now we can just feed pipe all the way down to the bottom and the wellhead will slide down later. So, it's pipe building time. Just repeat buttons two and one until you've got all the pipe that you need. Last pipe. Okay, so the last pipe gets stuck, which it sometimes might do. You pretty much just need to grab it. Okay, so, so once you've built the pipe, that's about 200 meters down, you then need to bring the wellhead down. So what you need to do here is make sure you release the brakes and then wellhead down. 
let's keep an eye on it. Um, the ropes will loosen quicker than the well head will go down. So every now and then you just need to stop and let it catch up. You see the boy's drawing down there. So I'm going to stop it there and then wait for it to actually stop on the pipe. Okay, so the wellhead's at 125, we're gonna need to load up another 20 pipes. So, this is how this works. First thing you need to do is you need to get the drill head out of the way, so press number two on there. Once it's up and out of the way, you need to lower the feeder. Once it's out of the way, press number two again, that just secures the pipe, so we don't use it. Now we can go reload. Now right, reloading requires a little bit of skill. I can't teach you it. You just need to watch the video and learn it. Once you've got one in like that, grab it and move it up to the end. And then you can start loading them up. Two pipes. If it does start to get dark and you don't like to skip time, then just hit this button here. Turn that all the way to 50. And that should give you a little bit of light over the loading area. If you find it hard to grab it from here, up there, then what I sometimes do is I just grab it from here and then put it onto here first. You can use the uh, the bottom of that ramp there just to level it off. And then place it on. Here we go. Right, uh, one thing we need to do before we finish though is to manually disengage the feeder and bring it all the way across to the right like this and then we need to bring up the drill again so I sit down press number two raise the feeder <laughs> lower the drill Double check this is all the way across to the right again, because it might have moved, and then disengage that, disengage that, and hopefully we've got pipes ready to be loaded. Let's check. We have. Right, we're going to start again. Are you there? Okay, we're going to start lowering more, more down towards the ground. So what you need to ensure you do when you get close to the ground is you need to make sure the well anchor is on, because that's going to anchor it to the ground once it gets there. That's an important thing not to forget. We actually can't see anything um, at night. So we're gonna make it there. It's just how the lights work. So now we can see the pipe again. So it's not recommended to do this at night unless you've got someone down there watching, which we have. Okay, so now when you get close to the ground, do the same thing, but you're gonna manually lower these pipes down and don't push them down with the drill. So that won't connect because it's too low, so we're gonna well clamp off. Use your power key. Okay, I've added one extra pipe. Okay, so once you have reached the ground, or you're near it, make sure your well anchor's on, and then manually drop these pipes down. Using the up and down arrows until you hit the ground. Oh, I was just able to clamp. Lower the pipe down, using the up and down arrow keys. Oh, okay, that's the ground. Okay, so it's not going down anymore. So just clamp it off. And then you need to bring the well head all the way down, make sure the anchor's on. And when it hits the ground, it's gonna anchor. You'll know if it's anchored, because you'll see a shadow up here at the bottom of the screen here. Look for the shadow. Anchored. Okay, now you've got the anchor. Let's bring, put the drill well rotor on. Drill activator on and the slurry on and then bring that drill down. You haven't already done so and now we're drilling. Now what we need to do, if you look at the ship it's quite high up. We need to do the um, the wellhead up button, hold that in until the ship gets pulled down to the grey level. You 
can see the shit's coming down now. That's just gonna stabilize the ship. You're gonna use the drill to pull it down and you're also using the wellhead anchor ropes to pull that ship down. Uh, anywhere in the black area is fine. Um, I like to get it just so the water's touching the grey. Here we'll stop. We've got a nice stable platform here now, um, all the way around. It's not gonna blow away in the wind. And what we're gonna do is, once that pipe gets in the bottom, we will add one more. So that's how you get oil in the sea explained and what we'll do now while that's drilling is we'll explain how you deploy the pipe drone so this is a little drone that can go down and inspect the pipes and we've also got some spotlights on there which you can move move around using the controller here and there's other little secrets around the ship which I'm not going to show you yet but we'll show you how to deploy the drone so if we can get a drone driver inside Basically you've got a little control room here. Um, this drone's designed just to inspect the wellhead and the pipes, make sure everything's working correctly. So you've got a little button here which unlocks the drone. And then you're gonna pull the crane out like so. Visual inspection to make sure it's clear of the deck. And then you're gonna uh, bring the winch down a little bit, give it some slack, and then we're gonna drop the drone. And there it goes. And once it's in the water, again, just keep that button on and give him enough slack to be able to go down and do what he needs to do. You can just keep that on until it goes all the way out. And that is the drone deployed. He can go now and inspect the pipe, make sure everything's working, and if you want to see what he's up to, pop into here. This is the drone camera. Over here, so there he is. He's looking underneath, checking the pipe work. And there's the wellhead. He's down there, he's inspecting that. He's making sure everything's working fine. That's all good. And if we need to bring him back up, we can do that as well. So, for redeploying the drone, all you have to do is communicate with the driver and say, right, driver, uh, I'm going to be bringing you back up. He's going to make sure he's powered off. He's going to come up really quick. Uh, you're going to winch up. So, yeah, it doesn't matter what position he comes up here. Um, he will bounce up, okay, I'm coming up and he'll end up in any weird position but what you need to do now is you've got to use three ropes here so you're going to grab that rope bang that onto there identify the front of the drone which is here so you're going to first put the first, first rope anchor onto there on the back I should say right there and if you've got a helper I think he might do that one uh, we can grab it from here anyway there we go and put that onto there. I've fallen in the water. Oh, we've just found oil. Yeah. We've just found oil as well. That beep, yeah. that beep means we found oil. So what we need to do now is we need to winch up. That should yep. straighten this out. There you go. So now it's in the right position. Now it can get a little bit tedious here. Not gonna lie, but what we need to do is we're gonna pull the, we're gonna bring it in, making sure that's switched off. Okay, we're going to bring the drone in. Now what we're going to do, as you can see, is we're going to lower the winch down a little bit. Give it some slack. Now we're going to try and get it winched up into the right position. Oh yeah, you should, it's just the, uh, the x -Men, The x -Men. It's a little bit tricky, but there you go. And we've got it in. So yeah, you have to play around with it sometimes. But you can get it working and then just bring that pipe up. So it's tied it away and boom. There, drone redeployed. So once you find oil, you should get a green flashing light up there. Uh, and then once you've found the oil, all you need to do is oil jack pump on. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah. And check this bar here. 320, 330 litres of oil. Now, that oil is coming from that black pipe there. I've left a little yeah, I'm turning off the drill. So now it's going straight into the main ship's tanks at the moment. Um, also, you've got this is just slurry, so you don't really need to mess around with these. But if you want to um, save time and you don't want to pump it straight into the, the ship's tanks, which are the two giant tanks below the deck here, and you can just grab this pipe and then load it straight into the container. And um, this is just a new thing we've added. You do need to put that on pump in though, and there you go. It's going to fill that container a lot quicker than it would if you filled it up from here because you can actually fill up 
containers from this port here, ensuring that this is on pump out. If this is on pump out, then what that's going to do is that's going to pump the fuel out of this nozzle for anything that's next to you. Once this container is full, you can disconnect it here on the container release button. That will allow the, um, the container to slide freely. And then once the helicopter or whatever you've got grabs hold of it, you press this button at the bottom and that will release it from the sliding tracks. I think that's it. We'll leave everything else for a surprise. That's all the controls.